I am not a big crier when it comes to reading. Like it really just doesn't happen very often. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys tons of books that have made me cry or get like very, very emotional or shed a tear. Some of these books I read literally like years ago, like 10 years ago. Some of them I read five years ago. So you guys are gonna be going past some of the books that are even on my Goodreads. So you're gonna get like really in the know about the books that have made me cry. Literally looking at some of these covers makes me so emotional. So let's get into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> We're gonna start off with a book that made me very, very emotional and it's called Still Missing by Chevy Stevens. I read this literally years ago, but I still think about it to this day. I also think about how I literally can't get off this sticker and it's making this book look so ugly. But I picked up this book like on a whim. I had never heard about it or anything and little did I know that I was in the ride for my life. So it's pretty much about Annie Sullivan. She's 32 years old, she's a realtor and she ends up getting abducted and do not read this book if you cannot like really take very like graphic scary sad things in a book because she gets abducted by this guy and she ends up being in this cabin for a very long time and she's just like absolutely treated so terribly and it's such an emotional book. I definitely wouldn't necessarily recommend this to anyone to read because it is very, very heavy and very, very sad. Um, and I found myself just like so emotional because I wanted her to get away and get away unscathed. but. As you're reading this book, you kind of realize that like she's going to go through a lot and you're in for a wild, wild ride. So read this at your own risk, but it did make me cry. And I remember, I think, I can't remember how long ago it was that I read this. It was literally years ago. Um, I remember getting done reading it and being like, what the heck did I just read? Because it was so wild. A recent book that I've read that made me cry was Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. Now I will say that this book made me cry, but it wasn't like a like sobbing like type of cry. I think like I shed a tear or two. And sometimes I'm like, is it just my allergies or like am I actually getting emotional sometimes I can't even tell but this book is about someone who has a past she's trying to leave behind so she goes to this small town and she meets this guy Archer who he doesn't speak to anyone and he kind of has his own like dark twisted and sad past and they really connect there and she gets him to open up and it is such a beautiful story um I cried at I can't even tell you the part that I cried, but it literally was a full on jump scare. And I, once you read this book, you'll know the part that I'm talking about. And I was like, no, and it just, I was so emotional. So yes, this book is a very, very sad book and you will definitely cry from this one. The next book I don't actually have on me because one of my friends is borrowing it. And a lot of, got, a lot of you guys ask like, what do I do with my books when I get done reading with them? And I let my friends read them. I'm kind of like my own little library, which I truly, truly love. They can like take it as long as they want. And a lot of people will literally read my books for like months on end, but I'm not in need of them. So like, I don't care. But another book that made me cry was Reminders of him by Colleen Hoover. This book made me sob, like full on out, just like heaving <laughs> sobs. And I can't even explain why it made me so emotional. I think part of it was like, it was one of my first books where like a child was involved. So there's just like a lot of emotion there, but it's about, and I don't wanna like give any spoilers cause I don't remember what was on the back of the book cause I obviously don't have it on hand when my friends is reading it. But it's about a girl who leaves this small town because of something that happens. And it's like a really big thing that she is just like very, very sad about. And she like fully, full on regrets. And she ends up meeting this guy and kind of connecting with him and then she ends up finding out that he's kind of connected to that big thing that happened but he doesn't know that she was a part of that big thing that happened because she obviously left the town and came back so the whole time they're connecting she like feels like she needs to tell him and it just like they end up falling for each other it is such an emotional book and I feel like it's one of those books where you kind of leave feeling like I understand how both people feel this, the way that they do. And it's emotional because sometimes life doesn't give you exactly what you want and sometimes it doesn't end up how you want. So Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover was a very sad book. It literally made me sob. Another book that made me emotional is If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. And the second book to this, or not second book, but like part of the 
book series comes out in I think September or October and it's from the guy Finn's point of view and the book I think what made me emotional and made me cry is obviously the ending of this book is very sad but the story is about Autumn and Finn who they're like best friends and they're like super connected and they like grow up together and all that stuff and then once they get into like high school Finn's kind of like popular and like Autumn's definitely not and so they kind of drift apart and I think I think I started getting emotional because it's hard when you drift apart from your friends but especially when you're in like those pivotal years of like middle school high school when you don't know who you are and you really let what society tells you is like cool or uncool dictate your life and so I kind of started getting sad then because they were drifting apart and then at the end there's just like something that's really really sad um and I don't know, it's just a really good book about friendship but also about love because they both really care about each other and it goes through like years of their life. It is just such a good book and I cannot wait to read the book from Finn's perspective that's gonna come out at the end of this year. The last book that I shared with you guys, If You Had Been With Me by Lauren Nolan, I actually rated that five stars. So I figured I would share that because I think that there are just so few books that I've rated five stars and I don't think there's a ton of books in this like stack that have even rated five stars, so I wanted to share that. But the next book that made me cry, it was Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. And I read this in high school and I actually bought it again because I want to do like a video reading old books that I loved when I was younger to see if I still get like emotional when I read them. And this was one of them. It is just such an emotional book. I can't really explain too much about it, but on the back it says, to find the truth, you've got to be willing to hear it. When she's modeling, Annabelle is a picture of perfection, but her real life is far from perfect. Fortunately, she's got Owen. He's intense, music obsessed, and dedicated to always telling the truth. And most of all, he's determined to make Annabelle happy. I can't really go into too much of like details about this book, but again, I will be reading it and I'm going to be doing a video at some point, I don't know when, but a video with like all these old books that I loved and reading them again and seeing if they're like the same rating. Cause I feel like that would be really cool. Another book that made me cry and a book is that I talk about so much is Love In Other Words by Christina Lauren. This book made me cry because you get two perspectives. So your half the story is from them like growing up together and they like meet every summer at their little like summer house and they really like find who they are in those years and you really get to see them like learn about their bodies and learn about their feelings and learn about just like relationships and like really connect with each other and then you see the future and in the future they're like not even friends anymore and so something happens between those years that you like don't really find out until the end and when you do find out oh my gosh i got so emotional i literally cried and i love this book so much i rated this five stars there's so few books i've rated five stars but this is the one romance that if people ask like what should i read like what's a good romance to read this is it like friends to lovers like true friends to lovers <sighs> It is such a beautiful story. Another book that made me cry that I don't actually have on me is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And I think I really liked that book. I read that literally years ago, I think in high school. And I think I really liked it because it tells and shares how it feels to be like super isolated and to like not really know who you are and you're kind of finding your way. And I don't know, it just is such a sad, sad story. I actually think they turned it into a movie too and I feel like the movie for once did it justice. It's very rare that I feel like movies do books justice but I was obsessed with the author of that book and all of their writing and so I just literally gobbled it up and I feel like most people have read that book but if you haven't definitely pick it up. Another book that I definitely got super emotional about was this book series. Now this is the second one because I don't know where my first copy is. Someone probably is borrowing it. Like, I kid you not, so many people borrow my books. It's wild, which I love. And the first book in the series is called The Coincidence of Callie and Caden, and this is the second book, The Redemption of Callie and Caden. And both of these two characters are so broken and I think that that's what really got me emotional in this series because they both really like just hold on to each other because they've been through so, so much. And it's one of those books where if you, I don't know, like reading about people who are like kind of trauma bonding in like a, 
Not necessarily the best way, but then they kind of like work through things. I feel like you'll like this series. It is a very, very, very good book, but also very, very sad and you'll get so emotional from it too. A recent book that I read that made me cry that I rated 4.5 stars is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. This book, guys, literally feels like a movie. I'm not kidding. Like if, and I feel like I've said this so many times, like please read this book. I wanna say that if you're going to read this book, you have to know that one, you're going into a hot mess, like drama, toxicity, like relationships that are not how they should be. It gives Gossip Girl, like you know in Gossip Girl, they're all kind of like backstabbing each other and like, hooking up with people's like boyfriends and like exes and stuff and you're just like there's so much mess that's this book and it feels literally like a movie they also are like super rich and magnolia is a woman of color which i love because i feel like very rare do i see women of color that are like main characters in super popular books but i just started on daisy hates and daisy hates is so good and i don't know why i waited to like jump back into the series but i loved the first book so much that I think I was a little nervous that maybe the second book wouldn't like give me those same feelings but they definitely do it feels like a movie when you like read this book but what got me emotional about this book was how I feel like when I read this book oh my gosh I don't want to get emotional talking about it I feel like when I read this book I remembered the feelings and how I felt when I was with someone who I just like was not I wasn't being treated the way I should have been treated and I was accepting it and you see that a lot in this book with the characters in this book like they accept things that they don't deserve so much and I just want to like shake them and I get that there's like a love that's so strong there but like the whole time I'm just like stop but then part of me is like okay maybe that person's gonna like be better or something like oh, it's just it feels so real and I feel like you don't read a lot about relationships where the people are like damaged and they're not necessarily like making the best decisions but they're still like so tied to each other and don't want to let go i could talk about this book for hours and this whole series for hours but i love it if you love drama and mess this is it another very sad book that made me cry is 13 reasons why i think that's by jay asher i think that's the author i read that years ago and this book is so sad it's about a girl who i don't want to really like spoil it because i don't know like what's on the back of the book but she leaves these tapes for people to listen to and it shares like all these experiences that she has been through and these hardships and all these secrets that she's been holding and it really shows how much someone can go through and you might not even know like what's going on in their life and i feel like by the end of the book i was so emotional but i also had so much empathy for like humanity because we all go through so much and we're just like walking through life day to day with like so much that we've been through so that book is just incredible i think they also made that into a movie and i do feel like they made that movie very similar to like what i kind of expected it to be in the book but if you've never read that one it was super popular for years i think i read it in high school um but if you've never read it you should definitely pick it up and i feel like that's probably going to be another book of mine that's in like reading old books that i love because i remember i was obsessed with that book um it's so so sad it'll break your heart but it'll also leave you with like good feelings about humanity and also bad feelings about humanity it's just a really it's a good cry <laughs> i recently read a little life by hanya yangahara i think that's the last name and i didn't actually cry from that book if you guys want to see that video and like my feelings for that book you can go and watch it i made a whole reading blog but a book that reminds me similarly to like the things that happen in a little life is girl in pieces by kathleen glasgow and i think the reason why it feels similar is because there is a lot of graphic detail but i think the biggest difference for me is that these characters feel so incredibly real and they are trying so hard to be better and to see the joy in life and they're trying really hard to not let like their struggles overcome them and they're trying to just like they're clawing their way to be better people but they have been through so much that they almost feel like they're never gonna be better if that makes sense but 
I don't know, I love this book so much. There's a lot of trauma in this book. Uh, you definitely check the trigger warnings on it. Like I got so emotional and I cried and I feel like most people who read this will also cry, but I feel like it's a very, very good book. So definitely pick this one up. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and all the book recs that I shared. I shared so many. And so if you're wanting a good cry, this is where to get it. So make sure that you guys subscribe and check back in a couple days because there'll be a new video because there's new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.